Welcome everyone to the 10 things you need to have to earn big online. This is Jomar Hilario. This is a 90 minute webinar. I'm very nervous because we might go over time because I prepared 160 slides for you guys, which is typical for me. If we ever get masyadong maikse, I mean too long, I'll just cut it into two, you know? If I might discuss five first and I'll discuss five again the next time. I hope you don't mind because I'm making this a very fun and interactive webinar. This is completely free. If you're looking for something to pay, you have to get out of here because I really don't want people who are nagano ogale. Okay, this is free. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to earn big online. Okay? And what else? Um you just need to have a humble heart, stuff like that. And pay attention to what people in the chat room are saying if you're having problems, okay? Um, let's start, okay? Let's start. Um, this is how we do it. I, I'll first introduce to you the topic, what to expect for tonight. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. Not tonight. Tonight's not going to be a lot of work. Um, the topic for today is going to be a lot of work because this is earning big online. So... It's gonna be a lot of work. So if you're wimpy, you don't like to work, and you can just leave. I'm really sorry. You really, you really can leave. Do you know why I keep telling people to leave? Because this stuff I'm giving you is big. This stuff I'm giving you is gonna change your life. If you want to be completely lazy and never ever 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 work for yourself, you have no part in this webinar. I mean, it's not going to help me. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help anyone if you don't want to work. So if you're afraid of work, forget it. Thank you. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to the next one. So, is this only for those who want to earn big online? If, 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 if you want extra income, you know, you're here because you want to earn extra income, this is not the place. We're not going to talk about extra income here. I'm also not going to talk about working as a virtual assistant or work from home. This is not it. This is no place for extra income. This is hard work. It's not extra income. It's big income. Thank you. So this is for big thinkers and big earners. Even if you're not yet a big thinker, you're not yet a big earner. You want to be? Do you want to be? Say yes, I want to be. If you, if you want to this, then this is for you. Then you can just do that. Okay? So for everyone who's you know experiencing choppiness, you can't hear this. Of course, you're experiencing choppiness. This is a lesson for you that for the after today, you buy a faster internet connection. Awesome! Or you go to an internet cafe, which is completely great. So do me a favor, guys. Type this. If you're going to, if you're hearing choppy, go run to an internet cafe right now. This is a long webinar, so you have time. If it's choppy for one minute, go run to an internet cafe. Let's go! So, okay. Can you just type that? Everybody just type that. Gaya niyo si Sam. I-cup and paste niyo yung sinasabi ni Cham. Sam. Hi, Sam. Okay, go, go. Okay, it's not at all technical. If you're expecting this to be a technical webinar, it ain't. It's not. It's not. It's My specialty is not technical. Okay. And let me introduce you very, very shortly. Maybe I'll take like 30 seconds to in introduce to you who I am. Okay. So, uh, I earn at home. This is what I do. Uh -huh. um, versus a lot of online marketers or virtual assistants, I actually don't work so much. No, I don't. I have fun a lot of times. I surf the internet a lot for fun. I enjoy what I'm doing. If you think that's hard work, then sorry, but I earn at home. Then next one is I teach in seminars and I teach online. I like doing that. Okay, I like teaching in seminars and I like teaching people on the internet. My ultimate dream is to create Filipino multimillionaires who are exceeding the billionaire lifestyle that they envision for themselves. These are you. This is you. If this is you, say yes in the chat room. It's also great if you can say yes, like live, so people, you know, so people around you will look at you and say, that's a strange guy. So look at it carefully. This is my ultimate dream. 
And by definition of ultimate, we can change this into something even higher, but it's already high. You're a multimillionaire because you have a billionaire lifestyle. You're a multimillionaire, but you have a billionaire lifestyle. This is my dream for you. Next is, I'm a product of the book, The One Minute Millionaire. When I read this book in 2004, I was poor. I had 5,000 pesos savings. Uh, it doesn't mean that everything I learned, I learned from this book, but I, this is where I started this book. I'm not selling the book, sorry. Next, how did I start? In one sentence. <laughs> As a beginner in 2005, yes, it's going to be recorded. I always record everything. I promoted three Christian rock concerts in Araneta Coliseum, capacity 20,000 pe people, from an internet cafe in 30 days each. Three concerts, 30 days each. Charles F. Clay, Ruben Morgan, Stephen Curtis Chapman. And I did it part-time in the evening, working with 10 work-at-home virtual assistants. Nobody taught me how to do this. I just wanted to do this. I did it for 30 days. I did it because I loved Christian rap. That's it. That's just my beginning in online marketing and VAs. 2005. Two years before the book, the 4-hour work week came about. Next, let's go to the actual webinar. Sabi siya mabilis lang eh. 10 things you need to have to earn big. Now, this is the stuff I did. I did, I'm doing, this is the uh, pattern that I want you guys, I wish you guys would follow so you can earn big. I don't mean to become a virtual assistant and earn big that way. You can do it that way, but this is not the way I'm talking about tonight. Okay? And we're going to be face to face with the real you, not me, the real you. And this is Sean. Say hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's you, Sean. This is Sean, 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 Sean. The firstborn. Anyway, let's go to the first one. That's the wrong spelling of Sean. Yung iba o tama spelling. Si never to. Yeah. Tama ng dinosaur Sean. Mama ya. Talk mo na si daddy. Okay. Good. Number one. This is a guessing game. What is the first one you need to have? What is the first thing you need to have to become earning big online? This is a clue. This is the clue. Tama na yung Sean. The first thing you need to have, this is the clue. Oh dear, I really ought to do something, but I am already in my pajamas. The first thing you need to have, ang the technical ninyo, is the asking attitudes. You should have zero excuses. No, sorry, it's me, because I'm poor. No, I already told you what you need. It's the asking attitude. Asking attitude. Zero excuses. Asking attitude, okay? Not persistence. Zero excuses. Asking attitude. Every time you say, I can't do that because that's the excuse attitude. You don't need that. You need the asking attitude. I'll give you an example. When I, I was typing a, a blog post that's about like, I don't know, 500 words. This, that's not Sean, that's Earl. The, this week, I was typing a blog post. You know what a blog post is, you know, an essay. This is the setup. Earl is sitting on my lap looking at the computer. One of my fingers is wrapped around his tummy. And one of my hand is typing the blog post, 500 words. Do you get this? I could have said, oh, I couldn't type. I cannot blog because I'm taking care of the baby. No excuse. I just did it. But that's easier. This is harder. When Lucia, the girl there, was one month, uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, one month old, I was carrying her. I was typing with one hand while standing. This is three years ago. This photo is actually this week. But when I was carrying Lucia, oh, go ahead, absorb the cuteness. I was carrying Lucia while typing on the computer serving you guys three years ago. Do you get this? Oh, tama na yung cute. Nagigets nyo ba? I didn't say I was too busy. I was too burdened. or too many children. I typed with one hand. Thank you very much. Your attitude must be to ask, ask, ask. The first thing you need to have to earn big online is ask, ask, ask. If you don't ask, you don't what? If you don't ask, 
you don't what you don't get thank you next if you're thinking this it's not time for me to earn big i can start small that is called an excuse that's again the wrong attitude it should be to ask how do i earn big that's the right one another one i have to think about this you know you know i have to think about this i'm not sure if i'm meant for this no I meant for it. I have to think about this. Okay, I have to stop. No, I have to stop listening to Jomar right now. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, yeah, no excuses. Okay, <laughs> now let me introduce you to your comfort zone army the RAS and amygdala army. I'm not gonna explain these are parts of your brain. Again, these are parts of your brain. Say brain in the, if you get me. Okay, the brain has two things and it has the RAS army and the amygdala general. The amygdala general tells your brain something is wrong. And in Tagalog, all these words are subconscious. Subconscious. Say, say subconscious. Now, we're going to test you guys to see guys if you guys are really worthy of earning big. We're going to test you guys. You're going to tell me something, and that's the conscious. And then your subconscious is going to whisper something to your heart. And you're not going to admit it, which is really great. Let's try a test. This is a long test. Let's try it. You see this. What do you say? Come on. Say it in a phrase. What do you say to yourself? So you see this. Don't say, wow, I need a phrase. I need a phrase. What do you want to do when you see this? What do you want to do? Don't say, wow. Don't say, wow. Don't describe my goodness. You, you mean when you see this, you say, veranda. Okay, that's okay. At least I know. I know. <laughs> How you feel about this? When you see this, you say veranda. Okay, awesome. Okay. Now, what what if I tell you you stay here for six months? What do you say? You stay here for six months. Don't say wow. Say something else. See, at least no, yung subconscious nyo at yung conscious nyo merong ano congruence, which is really strange. Okay, let's next one. This is 100 diamonds plus 100 more jewels. What do you say? 100 diamonds with 100 more jewels. It looks like a 3D image, you know, but it's not. Lumalabas yung iba. Yung iba nga, wala nang, hindi na ano eh, hindi na nagtatago yung subconscious. Lumalabas na. Can I afford that? Absolutely. Ang tindi, no? <laughs> very very expensive diba okay i want that okay it's a pass this is a an ipad okay this is an ipad what if i tell you that every member of your family has one what if i tell you that every member of your family should have one you're gonna buy them one every member and by the way you have three your family members, they have each one, and you have three. What do you think? Okay, wait, wait, I got no. This is your analysis. This is an analysis of you, not me. So, okay, I'm upset There's nothing to get. It's all about you. It's not about me. So, next one. What if, what if you say, okay, ito yung gusto ko, Jomar, ito yung gusto ko. Ayoko niyan, gusto ko to. Kung ano man yan, gusto ko niyan. Yan ang akin. <laughs> okay ba? Gusto mo yan? Wala, just give me your reaction. Nothing is right or wrong. Just give me your reaction. It's more important is what does your heart say? What is your brain telling you right now when you see this? You're saying it's too big. What if I tell you several years from now, this is going to be very common. It's called a TV. What if I tell you, like, one year from now, it's a TV. That's a TV. And it's really flat and you can carry it. See, some of you are already rebelling. <laughs> and that's good. It's showing you that your amygdala, your comfort zone thingy, it's working. You're there in your comfort zone. So what if I told you that 30 years ago, you would have a camera and a phone in your pocket. What would you say? 30 years ago, I would tell you, you'd have a camera and a phone in your pocket and a supercomputer in your pocket. 30 years ago, 1992. 
I'll tell you that. Would you believe me? That was 30 years ago, 1992. See, it's very different. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is a, a black Aston Martin. This is yours. What do you think? This is yours. Black Aston Martin. Okay. So, yung masagot, ha? Pag, pag, you know, pag binasa natin yung video nito, it's gonna be really fun. But it's more important is what you say. It's what you say. And I'm seeing different answers. Okay. This is your family car, the Brabus 800. It's a modified... Being, oh, no. Brabus, they modify cars. Uh, this is... I think this is a Mercedes-Benz modified by Brabus. Okay, I know you haven't heard of it because this is a luxury car. What? What if you own this? What do you think? I'll just get something bigger that will suit my family, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Thanks. How about this? This is your backyard. This is your backyard. This is your jacuzzi in your backyard. What's more important than all these pictures is what are you actually saying quietly without admitting to us. You're telling something to yourself and you're not saying it. What is it? Next. This is your family on vacation. Uh, if you want to know where this is, you might want to remember the sound of music. This is in Lake Geneva. Lake Geneva. On the house where they shot the sound of music. Let's assume this is that, this. This is you and spending a vacation in the house where they shot the sound of music in, in around Lake Geneva. By the way, malamig dun. <laughs> so, wow, okay bang sagot niya. Yung iba, yung iba pasado, yung iba hindi talaga. Eh. But more important is what you're not telling us. Next, look at your hands. Are you sweating? Really, honestly, are you sweating? Is your heartbeat high? Okay, that's next. Are you nervous? When I showed you those pictures, something is different about your body. Now, it doesn't matter if you say yes or no. There's a truth. There's a truth in your body. And it's gonna come out whenever you answer yes or no. I told you, this is an exam, not for your verbal, not for the stuff you type, but what's really happening in you. You na anxious ka or something. Okay. Na anxious ka. Bakit, bakit ano, masyado yun? Bakit masyadong mahal ata yung mga items na yan? Some of you are saying that. Okay? Okay! Who, say, who said this? Pa wag na umamin, okay lang kung wag umamin. That's too much for me. Pwede na ako sa, you know, that's, that's, that's too much. Yung pinakita mo, Jomart, sobra yan. Pwede na ako dito sa something-something. Hindi something. na kailangan umamin. Okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Let's take a look at this. You're gonna spend a weekend in this resort. Wherever it is. Let's assume this is in Shangri-La, Mactan. A weekend in this resort. Naka-groupon pa yan, so half price. Okay, okay kayo niya. Okay. A weekend. Yes. Weekend lang. Kasi naka-groupon ka, so one night lang. Overnight lang kayo sa Sangay Lamaktan, halimbawa. Okay? So, okay kayo. Ito naman. Ito yung bahay mo. Ito yung bahay mo. Ito na, yan na yun. Yan na yung bahay mo. Yung property mo, yung damo-damo, yan na yun. Yan na yung bahay mo. Nakakatawa yung mga sagot nyo. Grabe. <laughs> Naiiyak ako. Pero sige lang, tuloy lang. Tuloy lang natin. Naiiyak ako sa mga ibang sagot ninyo. Reality talaga, pero ganun talaga ang buhay. So, next natin, uh, ito. The brand new 2012 Innova. Gusto nyo na ito? Mas malaki ito kaysa din sa Chiding, saka sa Aston Martin. Gusto nyo ito? The brand new 2012 Innova. Pwede, pwede na, pwede na. Sock na sock, family car. Pwede na, no? Yeah, yeah. Sige. Tuloy nyo lang yung honesty. <laughs> so, pa. Murano Crystals. Bawat isa niyan, hindi to diamonds ah. Bawat isa niyan gawa sa Murano Island, sa Venice. Bawat isa niyan, 250. Bawat bilog, 250 lang. Pesos. So, magkano yan pag binailog mo yan? Siguro mga ano yan. 
4,000 pesos. Bawat bilog niyan, binibili yan sa Bonifacio High Street sa May Serendra. 250 pesos ang bawat bilog niyan. Huwag, huwag niyo hong lokohin. Hindi dollar siyan. 250 pesos ang bawat bilog niyan. Okay na yan? Okay na yan sa'yo? Morana Cuisas, ang ganda niyan sa personal. Nakakita na ako niyan. Made in Italy yan. Okay yan? 250 times isang bilog. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, si mga 4,000 isang ganyang bilog. Isang lahat na ganyan. Okay? Uh, next na, next na. This is a uh, luggage. Luggage. Simple lang. Okay naman sa'yo to. Luggage na to. Imitation Gucci. Okay ba yan? Hindi, imitation lang yan na Gucci. Okay na yan? Pwede na? Okay. Okay, masagot nyo. Next, next. Oh, next, next. Cherry Mobile. Yung iPad kasi mga ano yun eh. 19,000 isa. Yung pinakabago, 23. This is Cherry Mobile, 6,000 pesos. Hindi to phone. Kasi nilaki to ng iPad. Android to. 6,000 pesos. Super yun. 6,000 lang. Gusto nyo? Pagbibili mo buong pamilya mo nito. Gusto naman to. Mabagal ba? Mabagal. Nakagamit na ako ng ano ah. Ng Android, hindi mabagal. Okay lang. Mabagal yung Windows. Wait na rin. Ayoko. Okay, next. So, that's that's the first part. First part pa lang. So, what's the reality there? Okay. Sasabihin ko sa inyo yung reality before we go to part 2. Uh, can you guess? Alam nyo naman eh. Yung first list, before I went to the cheaper Innova, okay, is expensive things. Correct. The expensive things, um, yung amygdala mo, yung army, yung comfort zone army, amygdala, yung RAS mo, Ang problema ni amygdala at RS doon, ayaw nila lahat yun. Yung first list. Sa so, mga taong, ang daming binigay dahilan na, excuse yun yung that's too small. The Brabus car, that's too small for my family. I need to buy a bigger one. That's your subconscious, telling your conscious na, na I don't like that. Nakita mo yung diamonds. Nakita mo, ano ko afford yung 100 diamonds. Mga ganyan. That's your amygdala, your comfort zone telling you, hindi pwede, hindi pwede, hindi pwede. Mm -mm. Uh, can you hear me say yes? Say yes. You can hear me. Okay? So, yung <laughs> reality dyan, walang aminan to. Mabuti nga, hindi tayo nakikita eh. So, hindi, hindi na nilisik mga mata niya sa akin. Lahat tayo nagsisimula sa nire-reject yung, ano, I'll tell you the truth about one of the pictures. This is a real Gucci bag. It's not fake. It's a real Gucci bag. I don't know, it's probably what? 100,000 pesos. One bag. And if your brain is shouting, Sayang ang pera. Sayang ang pera. Ah, gusto ko ng LV. Yan, yan. Isa pa yan. Rejection din yan. Okay? Pag sinasabi ng utak mo na, I don't want that. I don't want I want something else. I want something else. And this is just an experiment. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really gonna give you a bag like this. Okay? Marami kang dahilan. It means... Your RAS, your comfort zone is saying, hindi ako pwede maging mayaman. Yun ang niyan. If you're not, if you see something great, and you're not, your brain is not grabbing it, your brain is saying excuses, and you're using logic, this is great, this is great, that's great, you don't want it, because it's not you, hindi bagay sa akin yan, because that's your comfort zone saying, no, you're not, you're not meant for that. And, so mo, tatawanan mo to. Nasabi ko sa inyo, TV, TV of the next year, ganyan na. TV na yan. Sabi mo, buong pamilya mo, hindi, hindi pwedeng magkaroon. How can I afford that? Ito, ito, hindi mo bibigay sa asawa mo, hindi mo bibili sa sarili mo, bibili sa nanay mo. All the things you said, quietly, even if you didn't admit it, it means you got lots of work that you need to do sa sarili mo. And don't worry, nobody is perfect that way. We just have to keep overcoming that RAS, that comfort zone, that amygdala, the parts of your brain that says, no, 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 hindi pwede yan. No, sayang yan. Pakainin mo na lang yung mga gutom sa Zambales, saka sa Africa, kaysa bumili ako ng bag na ganyan. Yan nga, ganyan nga, excuse. Excuse ang tawag dyan eh. Alam mo bakit? Natotoo lang, pag yumaman ka, hindi ka naman mapapakain ng mga tao sa Africa at saka Zambales eh. Sinasabi mo lang yan, Okay. Because if you really, really, really want to feed the children, you're doing it now. 
you're gonna do that now. You're not gonna tell me na I'm not gonna buy an actual Lacoste because it costs more than a family's wages for a month. So it's just an excuse. Nandun tayo sa first part pa rin. Excuse city versus ask city. Instead of saying asking, hey, I want that. Hey, I want that. Hey, how can I get that? You're just saying, you're, 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 you're rejecting the expensive stuff. I don't mean to buy expensive stuff. It, this has nothing to do with buying ex expensive stuff. This has nothing to do... Hi, Mamma Mia! This has nothing to do with buying ex expensive stuff. This is your reaction to seeing expensive stuff. Pasok ka ng Marina Bay Sands, pinasok mo yung boutique, anong sinasabi ng katawan mo, ng paa mo? Umulis ka na dito, hindi mo naman afford mga bagay dito. Di ba ganun? Hindi pa ka Marina Bay Sands, pasok ka lang ng Rostanz eh. Tatakot ka na, di ba? Bakit? Bakit ka takot? Kasi yung comfort zone mo, sinasabi, hindi mo afford dito, ultimo, per, ultimo sand sampler dito ng, ng pabango, hindi mo afford eh. Ganun kasi wala kang pera, sabi ng, are, sabi ng comfort zone mo. And, and that's one of the biggest things that's preventing you from becoming wealthy. Because your mind is telling you, you don't deserve the wealth. Kala nyo, computer ang kailangan, ano? <laughs> hindi. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang, pasok ka na daming murang bagay. Akala mo lang. Akala mo lang, mahal lahat. <laughs> I don't mean that you go there and buy. I mean you go there and never be scared of going there. You understand me? Because I would go to Lacoste, look at everything, and tell myself, I really want to buy something here, but it's all ugly. Hindi ko type. I'll go, some, I'll go buy somewhere else na mas mahal na gusto ko yung design. And I'm not afraid to go in. You understand me? I'm not afraid to go into Lacoste. I don't have a Lacoste na damit because I'm pangit ng design. For me, I can buy it. I want to buy it. I'm not as afraid to go in. But I'm dismayed at the ugliness of the design. There. Sorry, yeah. I know somebody here in the chat room. Well, you guys probably have a Lacoste shirt. Sorry, I don't think it's good design. <laughs> okay? But I do go in. And I do look at everything, you know? I look at the belts, I look at the trinkets, I look at everything. I look at everything, I slowly go to the store. I stare at the sales lady into their face. I'm not afraid. You get me? And I was doing this several years ago pa. Next topic! You know, masaya na ako sa bench. Alam mo ba yung bench? Kaya po quality yan. Hindi ka dapat masaya sa bench. Yun lang sinasabi ko. Just saying. Next. Punk. Butter tayo sa next, ha? Nag-guess yun yung lesson, no? Yeah, right? It's also not about brands. It's about being courageous. Saying yes to these things. Not buying them. Saying yes to them. When you see it, I welcome you. Diba? Makita mo yung mga things na ganyan. Yung pang mayayaman. I mean, sa totoo lang, no? Pag ikaw, yung maman... Tingnan lang natin kung magti-t-shirt ka na butas-butas sa bahay. Pag ikaw yung mama. Tingnan natin kung pagtitripan mo pa rin yung crispa t-shirt mo noong 1976, yun pa rin yung susuot mo. Sa totoo lang, titigilan mo na yung pagsuot ng crispa na butas-butas na yun. Kasi hindi ka yayaman kung ganun ka mag -isip. Next topic. This is the clue for number two. Talent isn't much without passion. This is the clue for number two. Talent isn't much without passion. What's your guess? What's number two? Yeah, that's an excuse. I know millionaires who wear butas-butas na shirts. Sure. Sure, you believe that. That's my point. You believe that? Go ahead, believe that. Okay, you, got, you guys have the right answer, but it's incomplete because mahaba yung answer. It's very hard to guess. Here's the answer. Passion expressed as project infused with hard work while having fun. Please repeat after me. Passion expressed as project infused with hard work while having fun. This is not just passion. This is not kissing your wife or your girlfriend. This is expressed as a project infused with hard work while having fun. Next. So, if you don't understand that, here's, here's another way of saying it. I like you, you're weird. I like you, you're weird. This is another way of saying the same thing. 
weirdness expressed as project infuses hard work while having fun. Weirdness expressed as project infused with hard work while having fun. Kung hindi mo naintindihan yung passion, I'm just saying the same thing. Don't say ha, I just said the same thing. I just used a different word. Because you don't know what passion is, because you're like, walang nagmamahal sa akin, baka weird ka na lang. Ayaw mo nun? Let me show you an example. Look at the girl. She's nice looking, pretty ba? She's a wonderfully looking Chinese Filipino girl. She's cute? She's cute ba? Don't guess who she is. That's not important. Maganda ba siya? Or she's plain looking? Come on, tell me the truth. Ordinary Chinese girl. Yes or no? Boys. Tell me the truth. She is ordinary. I'm a, I'm a guy. That is not maganda. I'm telling you. Hindi maganda yan. Kilala ko yan. Personal kong kilala yan. Hindi maganda yan. Especially in this picture, right? Well, so this, she's weird. When she was young, she wanted to dress up like anime character. So this is one of my internet friends. Okay, internet friends. Pero nagmeet na kami. And she's a uh, geek. G-E-E-K. And her classmates uh, would call her weird. Her classmates would call her weird. And I know about this because I talked to her. And I talked to her mom. And the reason why they call her weird because... This is her. Tingnan niyo mabuti, siya lahat yan. She's weird. She's a geek. Tell me, who made her costume? She did. Who bought the who, who bought the materials? She did. Sino nagtahe? Sastre. <laughs> Sino nagdesign? She did. Who made her props? She did. She made, like, gigantic life-size props bigger than human beings na may lead lights and siya yung nag-solder. I don't know. If you don't know what solder is, it's called welding for kids. She did. She goes to hardware stores and buys props and prop materials and electronics. Soldering. That's it. She's weird. And do you think this is hard work? What do you think? How many years does it take to make something like that? Or months? And to display it and to get photographers to do that she's now on her face her face is now on bus stations she's on tv she has two films two hollywood films coming up she's weird but it's all hard work if you ask her she's having fun i know i know her i know her personally she's really having fun all from this plain girl who was weird, who loved to dress up like anime characters, and she's having fun. She's Filipina. She lives in Crescent City. It's hard work, and it's all fun. Now, let's move on. There's a third way of talking about this. Sorry, I'm bilis ako. Ganun talaga. Third way of talking about this is hobbies expressed as what? What's the answer? Hobbies express, expressed as a what? As a project. Baka yun nawala na. Hindi passion ang sagot. Balik tayo ha. Mm -hmm. The first one is passion expressed as a project infused with hard work while having fun. The second one is weirdness expressed as a project infused with hard work while having fun. Therefore, the third one is hobbies expressed as a project infused with what? While having what? fun. That's it. It's all, number two is all these things. Hobbies, weirdness, passion. That's all. You have zero passion, you have a hobby. You have zero hobby, you have a weirdness. That's it. Okay. If you went to Bo Sanchez's feast last week, now this Sunday, this is what he talked about. His entire uh, uh, speech Last Sunday, there's a video on it on online. It was about weirdness. And he actually gave you a prototype for using weirdness for online marketing. But he didn't say that to the listeners, okay? But I'll, I'll give you the video later. But, you know, weirdness, hobbies, passion, that's it. Now, I'll give you some more examples. Of course, you want more examples. Yes? 
uh, can you guys help Mark? He can't hear anything. So, Mark, what do we do when we can't hear anything? If you can't hear anything, Mark, do this. Is full screen a eh, full sentence niya yung patutulungan niyo sa mga taong walang makarinig. I full sentence niyo niyo maintindihan eh. Yon, tama si Ebet. Go to an internet cafe. Takbo dali. Isa pa isa sabihin niyo sa kanila pag walang marinig isa. Tell everybody in your family to stop using the internet. And if you have iPads at home, turn off the internet on your iPads or cell phones or iPhones. Okay, go. Next examples. So, for example, this is a true story. A Frenchman did this. You will read one book a week and blog about that book per week for one year. How many books? How many books? This, you'll read one book. One book? <laughs> one book a week for one year and blog about what you learned. This is, this is an example. This is a French blog, and this is exactly what he did. He made a French blog about reading 52 books. 48. But nagbakasyon ka nung Christmas. 52. 52 weeks in a year. Being good. Thank you. Bye-bye. Next, you sing one song about the topic that you want once a day for a year. You're gonna video this. Okay, this is gonna appear in your blog in YouTube, okay? You're gonna sing one song about what's the topic once a day for a year. How many songs? How many songs? Mark, go to the internet cafe. Thank you. Next, write a cartoon on a business card 10 times a day for 3 years. Yeah, this is also true. This is this is Hugh McLeod's project. Write a cartoon on the back of a business card 10 times a day for 3 years. How many times? If you think that's weird, good. Because it is weird. This is Hugh McLeod. This is a real thing. This is a real project. I did, I'm not making this up. This is his website. Bahala ka kung ayaw niwala. How many business cards did he draw at the back? How many cartoons did he draw at the back of the business card for three years? If you're right, it's 10,950 cartoons on the back of a business card for three years. Do you think he was enjoying himself? Yep, I think he was. <laughs> yeah. KBM Resho has seen his work. I've seen his work. I have two of his books. He actually wrote a book, two books, and he put all his business card art there, but it must be. He's not an artist. By the way, dudes, can you show... Maglagay nga kayo yung link sa work ni, you know, ni Hugh McLeod. Tinan nyo kung artist siya. He's not an artist. Super simple doodles. Yep, thank you very much. Doodles lang. I told you, it's not about talent. It's about passion, hobbies, weirdness. Guys, mag magbigay nga kayo sa mga tao ng, ano, ng link to pictures ni Hugh McLeod. Yung mga art niya. I-google nyo nga, kamote kayo. Walang kinalaman ng talent sa pinag-uusapan natin today. I'm gonna repeat that. Walang kinalaman ng talent His name is Hugh MacLeod. That's it. Like the kamote. I don't know what that means. Okay. Tama na. Huwag na sa Google. Next! Teach one pop song by a guitar, by a voice, or any instrument that you know, xylophone, a day for a year using video. Any mga links? Ayan na. Mahubos kayo ng oras kakatingin sa links. <laughs> Oo nga, record na namin. Mayroon may poster dito. Yes, it's recorded, dude. Teach one pop song by a guitar, voice, or any... What, you know how to sing? You sing one... Teach one pop song a day for a year using video. Ayan, keepingvoid.com. Tama, yan yung kanya. There it is, one picture. One pop song a day. Use your voice or guitar or any instrument that you know. So here's the formula. You do something how many times a day for a number of years. That's the formula. You get it? You get the formula? You do something how many times a day for a number of years. That's it. That's the formula. Gusto niyo yung kumita na malak sa internet? Follow this formula. Next. Solve. 
your biggest problem every day for one year. This is another formula. Solve your biggest problem. What's your biggest problem? I don't know what your biggest problem is. If you don't know what your biggest problem is, get out of the chat room. You're not a human being. Okay? Thank you. Only human beings who are alive have big problems. Solve it every day for a year. Document everything in a blog or website or YouTube or Facebook. Do it for a year. Do not stop. And that's the formula. Okay. If it's a small problem, like, um, di ako makapag-charge ng iPhone, that's not a big problem. Okay? So, I'm not asking you for your biggest problem. And by the way, we have a rule here, I forgot. Don't make jokes if they're not funny. Okay, next time we see you there, saying jokes that are not funny, we kick you out. Totally. Of everything I teach. You understand, guys? Do not make jokes that are not funny. Make sure if you tell jokes, we will laugh. Because we don't like jokes that are not funny. Most jokes are true. If it's true, it's funny. So do not make jokes that are not funny. Thank you very much. Moving on. Okay, next. Uh, challenges. What is the challenge? Big challenges. What if people get bored of your one-year project? And another one is, what if you get bored of your project? Right? So sorry, Hazel. If your if your biggest problem is not having SEX, then great. That's a great problem, especially if you're married. It's a wonderful problem to have. But hopefully, you're not joking, because SEX is a not bad topic to joke about, especially with me. Thank you very much. So if you get bored, <laughs> or if people get bored, and you think they're gonna get bored with your one-year project, here's my answer: You're in the wrong topic. If you get bored or you think people will get bored with what you're doing as a result of your weirdness, passion, or hobby, then you are doing the wrong thing. Okay? So stop thinking about being bored. Because if you're bored, they're bored. So you really, really cannot be bored while you're doing this one-year project. Yes? You're getting it? Yes? We're halfway through, yes, and we're still at number two, <laughs> but that's okay. The first parts are really the tough ones, the tough ones, the first part. The next, the last parts, the last several parts are not that, really that long in discussion. So, hope you're still learning. Hmm, I'm disappointed we haven't hit 500 members, but anyway, let's do this. Correct. Next one, number three. We don't number three lang tayo, but anyway, we went through all the more important ones. Hopefully you're getting it, yeah. You're getting it, yes? You're getting it, yes? I guess the echo, I'm just checking the audio. Good. Here's the clue. Number three. What is it? What is number three? What is number three? Lakihan nyo naman yung imahinasyon nyo. Nakikita nyo lang yung nasa mata. Yung mata hindi nyo nakikita. Ay, yung nakuha ni Gideon! Nakuha ni Gideon. Buti pa siya. Nakuha niya. Clap your hands, Gideon. Kizon. Nakuha niya. You need a statement to say or a vision for the future. A statement to say or a vision for the future. So, so far, Jomar, hindi niyo pa kami tuturuan ng anything technical. Tama, promise, di ba? Walang technical. The first one was, what was the first one? You needed to have an ask attitude, not an excuse attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An ask attitude, not an excuse attitude. The second one was what? What was that? Passion, expressed as a project, infused with hard work while having fun. That's it. Or hobbies or weirdness. And the third one is a statement to say or a vision for the future. So let's take a look at that. What is this? What is this? You know what it is. What is this? You guys can do this. This is a jump shot, right? This is a jump shot. You guys do this common it's meaningless it's just a jump it's nice it's fun it's actually meaningless so a company used this concept and told people hey you go to our hotels and jump in our hotels so it's bedjump.com this is actually a travel website and they encourage people to jump inside the hotel rooms this is one example this is another one these people are jumping in hotel rooms must meaningful na in jumping no in bed jumping must meaningful but they're doing this to encourage people to go to bed jump so they will buy the bed jump prod products or they will book in the 
in the hotels where bed jump uh, endorses. Okay, and here's another one. This is very clever ones. And here's three guys jumping. So it's very nice. It's a nice project, and they always do it in hotels lang. Okay, and betcha isa lang gumagawa nito sa buong mundo na katawa. Okay, so I know more yet. So here is one that's different. What is different about this one? What is different about this one? This is a Japanese girl. I want you to look at her pose. I want you to look at their, her face. Look at this face. Look at those faces. Now look at this face. Okay. You see it? Now look at her pose. And look at how she does this. Super relaxed. Now, she's, it takes her 300 shots to finish one photo. I don't know. She probably has like 50 shots in the internet. 300 shots to get this perfect average. Sometimes she does it alone. Sometimes she does it with a friend. Why is, why is this possible? Why is she doing this? Why is it different in quality versus this? Yeah, she does it alone or with a friend. Because she said, I need, I want to show, remember the topic is vision or a statement. She wanted you to feel freedom. These guys want you to buy hotel rooms. Okay? This is a product of bedjump.com. This girl wants you to feel to be free from gravity. She wants you to feel that you are free from gravity. You got it? This is her statement, Japanese girl. And that's a statement. And that's why it's different from this. This is meaningless. Right? It's the same thing, it's meaningless. This is the same thing, it's selling there's not much beauty in it, you know. It's selling a hotel room. It's fun. But this is a statement that makes her different. You get it? Everything about it is different. It looks like a pro, work of a pro. Okay? But it's not a pro. It's her or her friend. Oh, she has an advantage. She's Japanese. She's thin. She has white skin. Okay? But she, if you really look at it, she's really not that pretty. Ordinary Japanese girl with long hair. So let's move on. Okay, here's some examples that I have that are vision or statements. Reuniting damaged families because of the OFW effect, meaning you separate the husband from the wife and the husband and kids, wife and kids, and that's because the families become damaged. And the vision is to reunite them by telling them to work from home. That's the vision. Another one is. I want to unite all Indian bloggers. This is a real vision. I'm not making this up. I want to unite all Indian bloggers by making a blog directory for all Indians. Okay. Another one. I want... Riza, this is somebody else. I don't want to tell you who it is. It's an Indian blogger. If I tell you his name, it's relevant, right? This is a guy who said, I want to unite all Indian bloggers. Okay? It's a real statement. You, you just Google it. Who said this? Okay. I forgot his name, but it's a proof. It's a it's a real vision by this person. Another one. I want to award all talented non-professional photographers, even if I do not have an award-giving body. You know the Grammys and the stuff like that. There's no award-giving bodies. You can come up with your own. By the way, this is my vision. Thank you. Next. I want to create 1 million startups under the age of 27 by 2020. This is John Azarab's vision. 1 million startup companies run by people under the age of 27 by 2020. This is the vision of John Azarab. Next one. This is mine. Accumulate 10,000 testimonials of changed lives. This is mine. I have like 300, so I have a few left to go. Okay? So these are vision or statements for the future. Thank you very much. Just like 1,000 Feasts by Bo Sanchez. You need that. Thank you. 
This is a vision statement by the motion picture industry. Make people escape from reality. You understand? The motion picture industry. Movies. Make people escape from reality. That's why movies are like that. This is their vision. Vision statement. Next. Number four. Here's the, here's the hint. I'm going to take a break. Guess what number four is. And you can talk among yourselves. I'll play some music. Talk among yourselves. Muna. Because I gotta take a short break. My back. Okay, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. Just like our nice chat room, na hindi lahat may pictures. Di ba? Sa lahat kaya may pictures para meaningful yung chat, di ba? Lagi yung mga graduation pictures yung katulad ni Tess para, para kayong ano, seryoso. Okay? It's 200 of us here. Almost 300. And I don't think I'm seeing all the photos. Okay. Proceed with the next part. Friends gained from attending events, webinars, and future partners. Friends gained from attending events, webinars, and future partners. This is from observation and from experience. The biggest earners in the industry of internet marketing are from friends who help each other make money online. I'm telling this to you from personal experience. You were struggling before, you helped each other out, and when you did, you helped each other grow, and you didn't, you weren't, you know, you weren't selfish, you helped each other, you were really friends, you know, you're not a user, and here's the important thing, and it might be self-serving to you, self-serving from your point of view, but it's just the truth. You have to attend live events. Do you know why? It's easier to make friends in live events than in webinars. Try it. Let me say it again. You have to attend live events. I do not know where you're going to attend it. Singapore? Australia? You make friends when you see human beings. Not when you see them online on a chat room. Not, not really. You know, how many of you after this one will go to Skype and chat for 30 minutes? Not very much, right? Pero ang ginagawa ng mga online marketers na kilala ko, yung mga, mga foreigners to, all of them actually, all of them. Yung mga mababait na online marketers na kilala ko, foreigners lahat, walang Pinoy. Okay. Online marketer ha, na mababait ha, uh, ano sila lahat, Skype lahat. Yun ang ginagamit nilang, yun ang ginagamit ng tool to partner. We, we, meet, we meet each other sa isang live event. Tapos after it, kukuha ng Skype. Tapos magsa-Skype yung 30 minutes. I've experienced ko na ilang beses yan. Nire-record ko pa nga yung talk namin kasi sobrang daming info na lumalabas dun sa sa usapan lang. We were just talking, you know. 30 minute talk sa Skype. Parang kami nagtatelibabad pero ang daming natututunan. Mga entrepreneurs from abroad, gagaling. Gagaling nila. 
they're obviously more accomplished than me. I earn, I, uh, I'm a Filipino, no? Mas, mas malaki yung goals nila eh. They have to earn millions of dollars. I have to earn a million pesos. That's, may million ako sila. Million dollars bago pa pang makawang one million. Eh, 20,000 pesos lang yun eh. 20,000 dollars lang yung one million sa Pilipinas eh. So, I'm not telling you to attend my events. Bahala kayo. But you need to attend live events if you want to have real friends. Because that's where you get friends, you know, real friends. And do not go to live events na libre. Kasi the quality of people you get there is uh, exactly the same as the quality of the people who go for uh, free events. You get me? Attend ka ng free events. Yan ang makatanggap ng tao. Mga negative, mga ano. <laughs> mga, mga, walang ano, walang plano sa buhay, freeloading lang, ano. So, just to be clear, you need to attend live events. The topic is how to earn big. You want to earn big? Attend ka live events. Jomar, mahalang live events. Correct. Correct. Eh. Siguraduhin mo may budget ka per month for live events. When I say budget, 60,000 pesos budget kung gusto mo. Kasi that's how I started. I'm really sorry. I used my credit card paid for a 60,000 pesos seminar sa Singapore. Rich dad, poor dad. Bakit? Eh, sino bang magaling ng time na yun? 2004. Di ba si Robert Kiyosaki? Mga naman ang kailangang online market natin 2004. Siya lang. Nung sabi lang sa Singapore siya, sige. It took me several weeks to decide. Ha? Akala ko nga, iiwanan na ako nila Larry Gamboa eh. Pero ang nangyari, ako lang pala sasama sa kanila. Wala pala talaga sumari. Sa lahat ng kasama ko na may mga pera, yung ba dun sobrang yaman. Di kotse silang lahat. Di commute ako ng 2004. Tapos, ako lang yung nagpunta ko Singapore. Ano mo yun? Bakit? Ano bang halaga ng isip ko? Tama si Menen, pero ma- technically mastermind effect. So, hindi ako, I'm not going there. Pag nagbago yung isip mo, magbabago buhay mo. Yun ang ginahanap ko sa live events. Plus, here, here's a tip I have for you for live events. When you go to a live event, lal na mahal, get one idea. Get one idea. Get one idea. Get one idea. Then run with it. Run with it for several years. Take that single idea and just do that idea. Implement that idea. Ganun. Take one idea. Yan ang ko ba kailangan sabihin para tigil-tigilan yung kakasabi ng law of attraction. Take one idea. <laughs> Yun nga sinasabi ko. Hindi law of attraction. Thank you, Sam. Tayo ko nakakita si Sam, ha? Kayong mga iba dyan, hindi nagsasalita. Take one idea, run with it. Kasi, if you take 17 ideas from one event, good luck. Sa dami. Lalo pag mahal mo, several days yan na event eh. Okay, next. Tuloy tayo, tuloy. Your friends, na m- m- meet mo, they will support you even if years have passed. Oh, when pupunta sa Maynila yung mga foreigners na online marketers na kilala ko, kita kami, labas kami, you know, on the information overload. Hindi ko na hindihan yan, Carl. Ikaw pa, tagal ka na. Tapos, susuportahan kami. Okay? as binibigyan nila ako ng ideas na hindi ko may isip mag-isa pa. Kasi outsiders sila sa business ko. And if you have questions, nasagutin nila na walang bayad. I, I once asked an online marketer, how do you pay taxes? Mino mo yun? Tatanungin mo lang ganun, how do you pay taxes? I mean, dudes, I can't even ask you guys how to pay taxes, how you pay taxes. Because yung level na hinahanap ko ng knowledge, wala pa kayo nun. You understand me? Are you an online marketer who's paying taxes? No, 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 Risa Floor. You don't get it. Get an accountant. It's not gonna be the answer. Because hindi lahat na accountant knows how to manage online marketing income. I've talked to several accountants. Hindi nila alam kung anong gagawin sa mga online marketing income. And hindi naman yun ang tanong. Ang tanong ko, how do you, as an online marketer, maximize your money para... You pay the least amount of taxes legally. Yun. Yun ang tanong ko sa kanya. Sam, ano ba? Di nagtanong ako sa accountant ko, pero hindi ako happy sa kanya. Therefore, I'm gonna have to ask an expert. Somebody else. Oo, oh, tinurungan ako ng ta- no, three years. Since nag-resign ako, tinurungan ako ng accountant pa paano mag-file ng tax. Pero betcha may gali, wow. Mataas yung tax ko. You understand me? Hindi po hindi yan, Pap. Tago. Hindi pwede yan tago. Hindi pwede yan. Ang kailangan ko, yung siguradong tanong. And, and, and it's not about taxes lang ha. 
It's all about payroll, compensation, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is a boring topic. Are you bored? I'm bored. So, I'm gonna move on. Thank you. Masyado kang fixated sa taxes. Mali naman. Thank you. Sabi ko sa inyo eh. The ko- Here is not a question. The point is not that you will give me tax advice. You, you understand me? It's my friends who are earning more than me who will give me the tax advice. Which I will give to my Filipino accountants. You understand me? And that's the value of friends. I'm not talking about taxes. The value of friends. Pap Santos, I'm gonna kick you out of that of the entire system. Shut up. But you should pay taxes to help the country. Hindi yun ang point. Niki pakihalat ng atong Pap Santos na to. Stop annoying me, ha? The point is friends. It's not taxes. You're so fixated. That's what you're gonna get. Taxes. Tandaan yan, law of attraction. Yan yung ipasok yung law of attraction, mga kababayan. Tignan nyo. Dyan pumapasok ang law of attraction. You're so fixated with paying taxes. That's exactly what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. Moving on. Galit ako. O, syempre, tao ako, eh. <laughs> okay. O, di naman sabi ng, cha- sabi ng aking slide. If they behave with fear, avoid. They're not yours to fix. If you behave with fear with anything I said tonight, I'm gonna avoid you. Because I cannot fix you. I cannot fix you. You will fix yourself. Sabi nga ni Coldplay. If you're behaving with any kind of fear based on what you hear tonight, nobody will fix you except you. So I am going to avoid you. Wala akong mission para baguhin ka. You will change yourself. Awesome! Next. Now, if you have friends who have generous hearts, no, they don't want to recruit you to MLM, they don't want to do that stuff, but they really want to help you, you found real friends. Yan ang kailangan mo. And this is part of your 10 things you need to have to earn big. You need a system of friends, a group of friends, para matulungan ka. Okay? So, you really have to remove yung mga tao na negnig, ganyan, yung mali ang fixation, yung, yung, yeah, we already saw some people who le- left. I, I'm seeing some numbers going down. That's part of it. That's part of it. Tandaan nyo yan. That's part of it. We don't really want people na mali ang fixation, mali ang tinitingnan. Next! And so, mang importante, three words. Friends, remind you. You will forget your focus. You will forget your passion. You will forget your project. Friends, remind you. You need friends. Friends, remind you. Next. And they inspire you. Lalo na pag naunahan ka na nilang mag-succeed, may inspire ka talaga kasi hindi ka magagalit sa kanila. Hindi ka makaklubmen sa kanila kasi friends mo sila. And I don't mean caring group. I mean these are friends now are doing the same thing as you are. Doing the same thing meaning... They're also trying to earn money from the internet. So, ini-inspire ka nila. Kasi look, man, karen group mo, siya, ano siya, CEO siya, something. So, marami siya. Pero nakatay sa Forbes Park, na-inspire ka, gagawin mo? Hindi. Kasi hindi siya work from home. You understand? At saka, hindi malaki kinikita ng CEO. Kasi ang mga work from home, nagbabayad sa mga CEOs. More on that later. Okay. Um... Here's a tip, no? If you ever have friends from this group, from events, you meet from events, and one of them becomes a big success, anong gagawin mo? Anong dapat mong gawin? Sagutin nyo. Anong dapat mong gawin? Correct! Si Sam na naman! Alam nyo, hindi nyo siya i-imitate. Hindi nyo alam ang ginawa eh. Tama si Riza, tama si Marlon, tama si Marian, Phoenix tama, tama si Ryan, tama si... Yun, mabilis na. Kuha nyo na. You cannot imitate because hindi nyo pa alam. So, magtanong, magtanong, magtanong. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Very good. So, number five. Mabilis. Asking attitude, di ba? Uy, Nikki, nabuhay ka. Next. Pakasabi kong OA pag nagagalit ako, ah. Sabihin nyo lang kung OA. Tao lang naman, eh. Di ba? Sabihin nyo lang, Jomar, tama na, OA na. <laughs> so, number five. Here's the guess. This is the guess. Number five, things you've done, things you need to have. Num- so let's review. What Number one, number one is what? 
Ano yung number one? Review natin one to four. Asking attitude. Number two. What's the uh, number two? Haba yun. Passion. Hobbies. And weirdness. Number three. What's number three? What's number three? A vision. A statement and a vision. Hindi lang vision. Kailangan sabihin mo yung vision. May statement ka dapat. Number four. Friends. Friends. And detoxes. Friends. Thank you. Awesome. And number five. Is an autoresponder. Okay, before you, before you, ah, oh, nasa technical na tayo. <laughs> before you panic, let me just tell you about it. Autoresponders, the stores, mass, mass stores your emails, meaning stores yung marami. Kala mo lang yun, Missy Techie. That's it. It stores your emails. Stores a lot of emails. Jomar, that's my email account. No, 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 no. That's illegal. This is the legal way of storing mass emails. Marami. Okay. And it also sends emails, mass. Mass sends emails. Marami. Hindi mass as in, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hindi yung mass na yun. Yung mass na marami. Magpasala siya ng email, marami. Um, you cannot do this. 10,000 emails in your G Yahoo now. Can you do that? Send 10,000 emails in your Yahoo right now. You can't do that. May huhuli sa'yo, promise. If fine ka for each email, $5,000 per email, maiiyak ka na lang. Magmamakaawa ka na lang. Kasi yun lang pwede mong magawa. So, legally, you can uh, send mass, lots, lots of lots of lots of emails using an autoresponder. Now, why an autoresponder? Because, let me remind you, five years ago, nagka-Facebook na tayong lahat. Tama ba? Five years ago, nagka-Facebook na tayong lahat. I'm answering the question, why autoresponder? Tama ba? Five years ago, nasa Facebook na kayo. sino sino ngaling dito? Sige, go. Sabihin nyo, yes. Five years ago, nagka-Facebook na kayo. Sige, magsinungaling kayo. Sige, galingan nyo. <laughs> Five years ago. Mga, mga scientifico dyan, pa Five years ago, nasa Facebook na kayo. Yung mga estudyante lang ang pwedeng umuo dyan. Kasi five years ago, hindi man Facebook ang uso, eh, Friendster. Eh. Sa MySpace. So, you can't rely on Facebook, Twitter, sa emails mo, sa mga clients mo. Your clients should be stored using emails. Emails dapat. So, you store emails not in your email, in your Yahoo. You store it in an autoresponder. This is where you store it. This is, it sends emails. You can't tell me, no, 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 no. I, I, can, I can just survive in Facebook. It, five years ago, you couldn't. You don't know five years from now if Facebook will still be there in its present form. So don't depend on Facebook lang. Next. So here's your first. We're going to go back to number one. And there's this brain is telling you an excuse. Here's your excuse. How can I learn that? Here's your excuse. No, I don't know how to use an autoresponder. Oh, no. I don't know how to use an autoresponder. Pero sa totoo lang, no? Can you do this? This wire is the free autoresponder. You have a... Ito lang ang choice nyo sa... Walang bayad na autoresponder. Can you do this? I mean, really? Can you do this and click on the first video? How about click on the second video? Like, click on the third video? Really? Can you do this? No, really? Can you do this? How to use this one? Hindi siya maraming list wear. Autoresponder nga siya. Basta kami nakasot, how to use free list wear autoresponder. Can you do this? I mean, really? Does it take really so much to do this and listen? I mean... They were the first video, hindi ako naintindihan eh. So, can you click on the second video? How about the third video? How about the fourth video? I mean, slap yourself in the face if you think you can't do this. You know? It's less work. It's non-negotiable. I told you, 10 things you need to earn big. You wanna earn big? You gotta have an autoresponder. Kung pilosyo po ka, you can leave. And I can live with Facebook. Anyway, next one. So, you're going to say, John, or how about a Weber? Or I contact? How about MailChimp? Ang sagot ko lang dyan, ikaw bahala since you're asking. Kasi ang list worth libre. Tapos gusto mo may bayad. So, ikaw nang bahala. Okay? Nagtatanong ka sa akin, 
How about a Weber? At least for libre. A Weber may bayad. So ano? Ba't mo ako tinatanong? May pera ka. So go ahead. Ikaw bahala. Simple, no? Napaka-technical, eh. Yun lang sagot ko dyan. Personally, I do not use a Weber. I use one shopping cart. You wanna imitate me? Use this. You have to pay for it. It's not free. Ano yung function ng one shopping cart versus function ng list wire? Identical. Pagdating sa hime, email handling. Nga lang, one shopping cart is like a mansion. And list wire, the free one, is like a bungalow. I want to be a billionaire. So, I need to use a mansion. You wanna be a millionaire. So, you can use a list wire. Muna. Ganun, ganun lang yun. Bakit, Jomar, hindi ka nagtuturo ng list wire noon? Kasi bago lang list wire. Nung nasimula ako, walang list wire. So, wala akong choice. Nag-autoresponder ako. One shopping cart, may bayad yan. $29 a month. If you're scared of like $29 a month, it's $1.5 a month, then huwag ka na mag-sini. Huwag ka na mag-Starbucks. Kasi that's about the same price. So, that's it. No technicals. If, may bayad naman lagi yung one shopping cart. If you don't know how to use one shopping cart, I mean, hello, I mean, can you do this with one shopping cart? You definitely can. If you're scared to do this, then ibang kwento yan. But, there. So, what are you gonna do inside one shopping cart? You're gonna send emails. What are you gonna put in the emails? You're gonna tell stories for three months up to six months. Tungkol saan? Jamel, don't fixate on the price. I-google mo yung price. We're not talking about prices here. We're not selling you one shopping cart. I'm selling you Listwire, which is libre. Listwire, libre. So, don't ask me the price. Listwire. Libre. You want to follow one shopping cart? Ask me later. Okay? So, what are you going to do? You have a project, right? You have this project. What is that project thing? It's passion expressed as a project. This, oh, what's the formula again? What's the formula? Weirdness. We're going to... You're going to stories. You have this project, right? You will teach a song once a day for every day for one year, right? So, yun lalagay mo dyan sa email. You understand me? You're going to do something, tama si Mel Dino, for once a day or once a week, and you're gonna put it in the email. This is not just blogging, eh? Blogging. Pag sinabi kong video, blogging ba yun? Sabi ko, di ba, Tuturo ka ng gitara. I mean, alam nga, sabi mo, I'm now about to pluck key of G. Hello, ano ba yun? <laughs> Joel, gising. Hindi vlogging ang tawag doon. Pag nagbibideo ka ng sarili mo, teaching people how to play guitar. Jamel, one shopping cart, i-google mo. Thank you. Okay. This is not vlogging. This is... Hi! You're New Zealand, Joel. Hi. Dalawa kayo ni Mama Mia dyan. So, you tell stories about what you just did in the project. Tell stories about what you... You're not supposed to email every day. You email once a week. Three to six months, you send an email using the autoresponder. You just summarize what you did. Summarize what you did once a, once a week. Okay? Tell stories once a week. Hindi once a day. Pero yung project mo, once a day. Then, you're gonna ask questions in the autoresponder. Now, before your brain turns off, you already know how to ask questions. Don't ask me how to ask questions, okay? So, you're, you, you, you're teaching people how to, how to play guitar. And you, you have no idea what are the basic questions are about playing guitar. Di ba ang basic question about playing guitar is, um, where do I buy guitars? So, ang tanong mo sa mga readers mo is, where do you buy guitars? What are the things you look for when you buy a guitar? That's a normal question when you're talking about playing guitars. Okay? Just ask questions. And then you listen. Because when you ask a question, they will respond. They will respond sa blog. They will respond sa, sa email mo. That's how responder responded. So then you listen to what they say. And here's the most important thing. Listen. They will tell you what they want. They will tell you what they need. Because you're teaching them every day, right? Teaching them every day in the blog, in the... YouTube, in the podcast, in the MP3. You're teaching every day, but you're reminding them every week in the email. They will respond. You respond to Facebook, and you listen to what they have to say. Pag nilike nila 13,000 times, that's, pay attention, they like it, versus nilike nila 10 times. 
that's listening. Okay, then after you do all those things, then you sell. You do all those things and then you sell. You don't sell and then you sell. listen and then you tell a story and then you listen and then you sell. No, 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 no. Tama Jamel. Tama Jamel. So you sell. Okay? You sell when they're ready to buy. Remember, how do you know when they're ready to buy? Uh, they will tell you when they're ready to buy because they are people. They'll tell you. Hey, Jomar, can, I, can you teach us more about this? May sinasabi silang ganon. Eh, isabihin, they want you to teach them. When they say they want you to teach them, baka pumayag na libre. You understand? Nagpapaturo, eh, di sumingil ka. Ganun. And when you sell, no, this is super important, don't contest with me when I tell you. When you sell, taasan mo, presyo mo. Yes, you need to test. Okay? But I'm telling you, don't just test. Taasan mo ang presyo mo. Paki, paki ulit nga sa chat room yan. Anong, anong sinasabi ko tungkol sa ano? Sa selling. You already have an audience. Taasan mo yung presyo mo. Now, pag walang bumili, test. Saka ka mag-test. Pero siguro doon mo magsimula ka sa mataas. Okay? What is mataas, Jomar? US dollars to, ah. So, translate ko lang sa Philippine pesos. 4,000 pesos, 10,000 pesos. I'm translating this to Filipino, ah. Pero, dapat in US dollars. 4,500, 7,000, 10,000. Yan. Simulan mo doon. Jomar, hindi pa di 20 pesos. <laughs> Gusto mong kumita ng malaki, di ba? Magsimula ka sa mataas. Pag magtitest ka, magtest ka sa taas. Wag ka magtest sa baba. Kasi, challenge ko sa inyo, simula ako 8,000 pesos yung minibenta ko sa internet noong December 2008. 8,750 is the first product I ever sold sa internet. Pesos yan. 8,750. 2,008, December. Daming bumili niya. OMC1 yan. Online Mentoring Club. Huwag niyo nang tanungin, kamoteng kahoy. 2,008 pa yan eh. <laughs> <laughs> ang ibig kong sabihin sa inyo, yan ang una kong bit. Hindi ako magaling. Sumunod lang ako sa mentor. Naintindihan ninyo? Hindi ako magaling. Sumunod lang ako sa mentor. Sabi ng mentor, alam mo yung mentor ko, hindi pa nagsasalita yan. Pinapakita lang niya sa kilos. Ang kilos niya ganito, taasan mo yan. Hindi yung sinasabi sa akin. Sinabi lang niya, taasan mo yan by action, by example. Sinunod ko. Hindi niya sinabi sa akin verbally. Non-verbally niya sinabi. Taasan mo yan. Kung gusto mo, kanto yan ha, pag 300 lang listeners mo, nagbenta ka ng 10,000 pesos sa kanila, 10,000 lang, bumili tatlo. Tatlo bumili. Kano kita mo? Kano kita mo? 300 lang ang listeners mo, 10,000 pesos yung pinahinta mo. Tatlo lang ang bumili. Magkano kita mo? Masaya ka? Sweldo mo na ba yan? Kikita mo yan mga dalawang araw. Okay na yan? Okay na yan? Simula yan. Tatlo daan lang readers mo. Kasi pathetic yun. Pathetic yung 300. Kasi tinaasan mo. Kesa nagbenta ka ng 100 pesos. No? Ang bumili... Out of your 300, bumili 50. Ang dami-dami na yan. Kano kita mo? Bumili 50, magkano kita mo? thousand. Happy ka, di ba? <laughs> Ngayon, pag, tina- pag tinaasan mo naman yung cost mo, nag 1,000 ka, hindi hindi 50 bibili niyan. Bababa yan. So, 46 ka na Okay, so, it's all about testing. No, it's not about pricing. It's all about testing. It's about testing. You don't know the right price. I spent several years testing the price. It's all about pricing. Nope, it's all about testing. Press the price. Test the price. Hindi mo pala magpalit ng price. Sa tingin mo, ang mall, hindi magpalit ng price. Hello, sale. Hello, price increase. Next. Number six. I'm moving on. What is this? Technical pa rin. Pangit nga yung graphic ko. Kakaawa naman. This is the universal symbol of RSS. Meaning, in Tagalog, 
blog blog you need a blog you can create one based on your passion you're gonna use blogger or I can choice okay I hope there's no American in this group this is a Pinoy only webinar this is only for Filipinos I don't want foreigners in this group I out of the taglish blogger use blogger marami jang may beliefs eto yung beliefs hindi ako marunong mag blogger so can you use this can you do this can you do this hindi ako mag blogger can you do this ayoko ng foreigner dito kasi nagtataglish ako gets pag may foreigner dito hindi ako makakataglish gets nyo yun paano ako magtataglish kung may foreign germs paano na lang yung mga jokes ko in taglish Wawa naman ako. Awesome. Tinry ko na yun. Hindi nag-work. <laughs> also, the important lesson is, when you're doing online marketing, you do not cater to everyone. Mag-target ka, mag-localize ka. Sabihin ko sa foreigner ganito, my vision for you is to reunite your broken family because of OFW damage. Sige, sabihin ko sa foreigner yan. Sige. Ano sa ng foreigner? Ah, uh, my family isn't broken. I do not have OFW damage. What is OFW? <laughs> Gets nyo? <laughs> Hindi niya alam ano yung OFW. Hindi niya kailangan si Jessica Sanchez. <laughs> Wala kami mag-uusap. I mean, fine, I'd love foreigners to be here, but they won't get it. No? They won't get it. Tsaka, ang hirap mag-taglish ako eh. Yeah, I'll probably go English one of these days. It's gonna be a lot harder. Kaya kung magpatawa sa English. But anyway, you guys, you don't know how to use Blogger? Here's how to use Blogger. You can do this. Ayan yung first video, use the second video, use the third video, use the fourth video. You don't have to pay. So next is um, WordPress hosted. Tatanong yung jammer, pwede pong WordPress hosted? Ang sagot ko, very technical. Kau bahala. Alam mo pala kung ano yung WordPress hosted eh. Kau bahala. Jammer, pwede pong WordPress.com? Aha, alam mo yung wordpress.com. Kau din bahala. <laughs> Nasabi ko na sa inyo, sobrang simple ha. Blogger. Hindi ka naman blogger, i-google nyo. How to use blogger. Kung gusto nyo gumamit yung mga sistema, kau bahala. Gusto nyo sumakit ulo nyo, kau bahala. Yan lang kasimple. Awesome! Tonk. So what are you gonna do in the blog? You're going to tell stories. And then, you're gonna ask questions. And then, mysteriously, you're going to listen. Then, you're going to do this every day, uh, blogging. Either you use YouTube to blog your videos, but you still have to put the videos in Blogger. You use YouTube to create the videos, uh, to upload the videos, pero ilalagay niyo videos sa Blogger. So, every day, maglalagay ka nalaman sa blog mo. Hindi pwede, hindi every day maglalagay sa blog. Kasi may daily, ano kayo, may daily project kayo. So, you have to put, put your stories of your project. Don't forget what your project was. Number two, what is number two? Passion expresses a project. Yun po ito sa blog. Tell stories about it. You ask questions, you listen, and then you sell. Familiar, no? Hmm. Familiar yun. You sell. Okay? So here's the next one. The next one is number seven. We're almost done. Okay? Yay! Hindi tayo, hindi tayo, hindi tayo ulit. Hindi tayo mag-extend. Um, konti lang. Number seven. Number seven is, whew, alam nyo to. Sa loob ng aking portfolio ay, tinat, tinat, social media. Social nyo naman. May pa-social, social pa kayo. Facebook page, Twitter page, Google Plus page. Google Plus has a page for business. I don't mean personal page. Stop using technical words here. Pinadali ko na nga eh. Facebook page, Twitter page, Google Plus page. Okay? So, here's how to create a Facebook page. Here's how to create a Facebook page. Okay? Here's how to create a Facebook page. O, tama na. Tatlo na yun ha. Marunong na kayo gumawa. Thank you. O, nagawa ka ng likable name. Sobrang simple. Nagawa ka ng page, page sa Facebook. Siguro doon mo likable. Hindi Victoria Diamonds. Hindi likable yun. Or... Um, we sell signage or we fix your doors. 
hindi naman likable yun. Tumigil ka nga. Ang likable ganito, peanut butter sandwich makes my day. Yan, likable yan. Okay? Ano likable? I love Macintosh products. Likable. I wish I got, I wish I am a, a billionaire. Yan, likable yan. Ang pangalan ng Facebook page. Awesome. Tapos na yun. Huwag makulit. Pag sinabing gumawa ng likable name, likable name. So, for gagawa ako ng likable name sa blog ko, hindi sa Facebook. Hindi sa blog. Yung blog, pangalanin mo seryoso. Yung Facebook, huwag makulit. Likable name. So, for gagawa ako ng likable name sa autoresponder, walang ganun. Walang pangalan ng autoresponder. Okay. Put ulit. So, anong gagawin mo sa loob ng Facebook, no? Halimbawa, may Facebook page ka. Anong gagawin mo? Hulaan nyo anong gagawin. Nye, nyo, nyo. Tapos, nye, ako. Tapos, nye. Tapos, nye. Anong gagawin nyo? Sige nga, anong gagawin sa loob ng ano? Yan. Yan, nye, ako. Tapos, nye, ako. Nye, ako. Nye, ako. Tapos, nye. Ganun yung sequence. Yung sequence nyo, mga kasing haba yan ng mga... 3 months, 6 months, bago ka umabot sa cell. Bago ka umabot sa cell, 3 months to 6 months. And, huwag kayong bent on the first month, walang cent. Wala pa masyadong tao eh. So, guess nyo ha. Kasi sobrang kulit ko na dyan. Ha? Number 8. 1 minute to go, number 8 na tayo. Yes. What is this? Number 8. Yung number 9, matindi. Kaya, hingintayin nyo habang kaya nyo pa. Number 8 is, what is this? This looks like, Almost looks like the place where I live right now. Almost. Even the color is consistent with where I live. Kuha ni Marian. Work from home. Kailangan ng assistance to speed things up. You need assistance. You don't need yourself. You need assistance. Nope. You don't need a working place. This is a home office for a virtual assistant. You need assistance. Here's the thing. To become a millionaire nowadays is very easy. Mag CEO ka mag uh, mag ahente ka ng something and commission mo maging millionaire ka na and every person who drives a car that's a more than 1 million cost is easily a millionaire pero ginastos niya na right so it's very easy to become a millionaire so you can be an employee so we cannot think like a millionaire we have to think like a billionaire we cannot think like a millionaire madaling gawin yun Madaling gawin yung empleyado, millionaire na yan. Mga boss nyo, millionaire yan. You have to think like a billionaire. Think, not spend. Think. And here's how we do it. Here's how you do it. How do you think like a billionaire? There are many ways, but here's one way I can tell you. Do projects that you can pass on to someone else as CEO of that project. This is how a billionaire would think. Mga maraming klase ng billionaire. May billionaire na busy. Ito yung billionaire na tulad ni Richard Branson, hindi busy. The virgin billionaire. Do projects that you can pass on to someone else as CEO of that project. Pag ginawa mong CEO yung empleyado mo, yung VA mo, siya magpapaandar lahat. The, the business will run, will earn money, you just get the money. You give general direction. The CEO will take care of selling, take care of sales, and take care of hiring and everything. That's how a billionaire thinks. Well, the billionaire that we like to be. You know, yung hindi busy na billionaire. You understand me? Yes? Kukuha ka ng project, kagawa ka ng something na hindi ikaw ang trabaho, this person will do it. This person will do it. The CEO of that project. Ide-delegate po, ultimo yung project na yun. Sa simula, ikagawin mo yan, ikaw lang. Passion mo yan, ganyan-ganyan. Pero you can pass it on later to someone else. Pag nagawa mo na yung one-year project, you pass it on to someone and do something else. Okay? So that, this is not even office delegation where you check their work. They will self-check their work because the CEO is left. Do you understand me? The answer is, Winnie is correct. Replicate. Not delegate. Replicate. Mataas ang bahay sa CEO. CEO, VA ka. Mataas. Pero mas mataas ang hindi ng business. So you re-replicate mo yung sarili mo sa kanya. Taas ang bayad niya. Yung profit sharing siya, fine. But he runs everything. One of your small projects, of course. Not all of it. Uy, this is recorded. Next. So when you so you can leave that business and you can enjoy. You can have five five times a month, five times a year the retreats on some island somewhere. You contemplate life, contemplate your business, think of 
few projects to do, that's how you become a billionaire. Or even a multi multi hundred billionaire. Does it have to be a billionaire? But you know, 200 millionaire. But you know. Okay, next. Or you can save the world from malaria, whatever you like. We're almost to the end. But number nine is very, very important. Okay? So go, go, go. Here it is. Running away from any problem only increases the distance from the solution. The easiest way to escape from the problem is to solve it. Number nine. This is the, this is the same as number one, two, and three. This is not technical. Here's the answer. Number nine. Use ideas to help people, even if you total, if you even if you're totally selfish to begin with. Use ideas to help people, even if you think you're doing it for the money. To begin with because we all start there I'm doing this because I'm earning money I'm doing this because eventually I will sell something to them you're gonna feel selfish when you begin it doesn't matter it will fix itself as long as you use ideas to help people that's why you hear all these big people they will tell you we're doing this to help you Robert Kiyosaki I'm educating the world I'm educating the world and one access to his live seminars or recorded seminars is a thousand pesos each. So, to sabihin mo no, philosopher ka, if you're doing this to help the world, why aren't, why aren't your recorded seminars free? And he's gonna tell you, one thousand pesos is cheap to access my live seminars. And But he doesn't say that. You know what he says? I'm doing this to help people, to educate people, so they can manage their money well. You know what he's saying? Why are they like they're going to Because when they started, feeling din nila, binabola nila sa nila because they were selfish. Then eventually, God refined their hearts. Uwing nyo doon yung puso. Nag-gets na din nila na they really have ano ba yan? Tas? Hindi ko naintindihan. Na, na ano, they really have to help people so that they can sinabi ni Zig Ziglar, get what they want. Wala nang ano, wala nang iniisip na this is selfish, kumisingil ako ng pera and become a billionaire because of all these books that I sell, sabi ni Robert, no? hindi na importante yun. Hindi na lumalabas sa conscious nila yun. Wala na rin sa subconscious nila yun. Ang fixation na lang nila, again, it's all fixation, it's all focus. I need to help people. And this is another, this is an example of somebody who actually did this when he started. This is an online marketer. I won't tell you who he is. I don't know him personally. He made a forum for Magic the Gathering fans. That's it. That's what he did. He told them, okay, you guys want to talk about Magic the Gathering? Here's a forum for you. He set up a forum. It's a bit technical to do that, but that's what he did. It's like making a Facebook page for Magic the Gathering. That's what he did. That's how he started in online marketing. He helped people like him who would like to talk about Magic the Gathering exchange cards. Now, you don't know what Magic the Gathering is. It's a card game. So people collect cards, and they buy cards, and they exchange cards, and they play games with it. And are you guys still there? Wala nang sasalita. Wala nang sasalita sa chat room. Normally, may sinasabi. Are you guys there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good. Okay, so, we're almost done. Think hard. What problem do you have today? Think hard. That, that problem, that's a problem of other people too. So, you solve it. You make your project a solution to your big problem. Okay. Financial is a general problem. You have to be deeper than that. Don't tell me financial. You want to raise money to buy a car? That's financial. You don't have anything to eat tomorrow. That's also financial. You have to be much, much specific in the problem. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the question. Given that you have the problem, thank you for all the suggestions of the problem now. How can you solve it if you have the money? Okay. Given you have a problem and you're saying this. Okay, thank you for the answers. How can you solve it if you have the money? So you have to figure that out. Figure out how you can solve the problem if you have all the money you need to solve it. And if the problem is actually, I know, marami kang utang, the, the solution is not mabayan ng utang, okay? <laughs> Kasi mga utang ka ulit eh. <laughs> The solution is something else. You have to really, really think about it. Write it down. Write it down. 
write it down, write it down, write down the solution if you had the money. Then you're going to have to formally write it down. I said formally type it up. The problem is, um, ang hirap maghanap ng maid sa Pilipinas. Yan yung problem. Or mahirap maghanap ng maid, kahit saan, hindi naman sa Pilipinas. And you come up with a solution. If I had all the money I need, what would I do? And make sure you're not solving just your problem. You're solving the problem of the 10,000 people who are listening to you. Sabi siya, malalim to eh. Okay? So, if the problem is, um, wala kang may namatin mong mahanap, so you come up with your creative solution on how to solve that problem. If you had all the money that you needed. If you had all the money that you needed. If you have all the money that you need. Naintindihan niyo ako? You don't think of a small project to help you. A big project helps people. And then, when you're ready, you go to Kickstarter. And they will throw money at you. Just give them the project. And they will throw money at you to do the project. That's what Kickstarter is all about. This is a website that helps you fund whatever you want. You want to bring back the game Pac-Man. Wala na kasing bagong version ng Pac-Man daw. So, ang gawin mo, I, I want to bring back the game Pac-Man. I miss it. The game mo dyan, project. Tapos sabihin mo, um, I need uh, $10,000 to bring back the game Pac-Man. Hire programmers to do it. And people in Kickstarter will just throw money at you. Okay, you have a band and your band is dead. Do you want to play music again? You want to record an album? And Sony Music Philippines just died so you can't get an album done? So mo, we have a band. We play unique music. Um, we need uh, $5,000 to record. And you have fans there. They throw money at you. That's what Kickstarter does. So actually, in the, this world today, no, if your excuse is wala kang pera, hindi na siya excuse. People have made movies using Kickstarter. Movies. They have created products. Alam niyo yung waterproof na iPhone, iPad Nano na bracelet? Waterproof, ha? Na may Bluetooth? Ginawa yan sa Kickstarter. They funded it. These are some examples of things that are done in Kickstarter. Make an album. Uh, save a theater from being destroyed. Create pantalon. Pants. Create pantalon. Did you get it? Gusto mo magtahe ng pantalon na kakaiba. You asking people to send you $30,000 para magtahi ka ng pantalon. Of course, you're gonna give them the products. No? They're actually paying in advance before you create the product or create the service. But if you have this big excuse that you have no money, wala ka ng choice. Ang excuse mo, wala kang creativity, wala kang magagawa doon. Kasi nag-excuse ka na naman, hindi ka nag ask But Kickstarter will fund whatever you wanna do. As long as you say it well. Sabihin mo, sabihin mo anong gagawin mo. Okay? Ganun. Ganun. And Kickstarter will help you. Sobrang simple, no? Now, if you have a big idea that you need funding, if ever you need funding, go to Kickstarter and tell people all about it. Just make sure na formal talaga yung pagkasabi mo in the way that they do it. Okay? So that's one website you can go to Nagbababad ako dyan, looking for people to support. Nagbababad ako sa Kickstarter, looking for people to send money to. Nangintindihan nyo yun? <laughs> Next. So, number 10 and lastly, nag-overtime na tayo. Here it is. Humility to learn from those who have accomplished more than you do. Siyempre, mayaman ako. Nagsimula ako sa hirap eh. So, alam ko yung value ng yaman. Kaya nakatak sa akin ng pera. Thank you, Juvie. Humility to learn from those who have, who have accomplished more than you do. Example, sabi ng successful person, sabi ng successful person, the iBooks, the Apple's iBooks author is one of the simplest way to create and sell eBooks on the planet as long as you have a Mac. Again, yung program ni iBooks, ni Apple na iBooks author, it allows you to create eBooks. And it allows you to sell your ebooks. And it's the easiest and simplest ways to sell and create ebooks today. As long as you have a Macintosh. Sabi ng expert, ano gagawin mo? Pababasa ko ulit sa inyo. Ha? Meron daw easy way to create ebooks, interactive books, children's books, story books. 
As long as may Macintosh ka, gagawin mo. Next question. Sabi ng expert, sabi ng mga magagaling, creating Kindle how-to ebooks, essentially this is an old text ebooks, are the easiest way to go to number one in Google for your site. Meron kang site, gusto mo mo sa number one. Meron kang client as a VA, gusto mo sa number one yung site niya. Sabi ng expert, gawa ka ng Kindle ebook. Ang gagawin mo? Sabi niya, gawa ka ng Kindle ebook, ano gagawin mo? Sabi ng expert, ano gagawin mo? Grabe mo na sumasagot. <laughs> Labo. Tulog na siguro kayo. <laughs> so let me just wrap this up quickly. Vlog? <laughs> Bakit hindi kayo sumasagot? Ano ba akong nakausap? Paano? Huwag niyo akong tatanungin paano. Nakatanong ko anong gagawin niyo. Tanong niyo ako paano. Huwag niyo akong tatanong. Hindi naman ako yung nagsasalita eh. <laughs> anong gagawin niyo? Hello? Ito yung gagawin niyo. Anyway, kung hindi niyo alam gagawin niyo, bahala kayo. <laughs> Ito pa yung last statement ng expert. Ako to. There are very little... Facebook contest experts in the world. So you can be a VA who specializes in Facebook contest and earn a lot. Anong gagawin mo? Kukunti lang ang Facebook contest experts sa mundo. So you can be a VA who specializes in Facebook contest. Anong gagawin mo? Tama si Juvie. Tama si Menin. Tama si Vision Runner. Anong tama kayong lahat? Except si Jem. <laughs> maghahanap ng Facebook contest. Tama si SDNA. Thank you. So that's it. That's the end of that. I have some a few words and I hope you can can we review what you just learned? Number one is no, let's review it reverse. Number 10 is Number 10 is what? Come on. Number 10 is humility. Number 9 is what? What is number nine? It's very important. Number nine is use ideas to help people. Hindi lang ideas. Use ideas to help people. Even if you're selfish to begin with. Number eight is ah, mas madali itong 876. Sige nga, ano yung 876? Eight VAs. What's number seven? And seven, kalimutan niya na. Facebook, social media, number eight, number six. Number six is a blog in blogger. Number five is autoresponder. Number four is, we're going to the very, very deep ones now. Number four is what? Friends from events. Number three is and number three. Ah, nakalimutan na. <laughs> A vision statement. Number two is passion, weirdness, and hobbies. And number one is the asking attitude. And that's it. Those are 10 ingredients that I made up so that you can earn big. There's probably another t next 10, but this is the 10 that I can best come up with today. Now, here's the, the thing, the next step. What's your next step? If you do not know what your passion is, you go to this tutorial. This is, go to this tutorial. Did I say tutorial? Yeah. Go to this tutorial to figure out what your passion is. Because I know for sure, if I ask you, what's your weirdness, what's your passion, what's your hobby, you're not going to tell me anything. <laughs> so if you want to know, this is a series of four tutorials. Yes, they're free. Stop asking. Nobody's asking, just acting up. You go to this tutorial, you can click on this to figure out what your passion is. Again. If you're here for the virtual assistant, that's the link. If you're not here for the virtual assistant, you want to learn your passion, that's the link. You click on that link and figure out what your passion is in life. You get me? Again, if you're here for the VA, ayun yung link. It doesn't even work, so just go there. The next seminar is June 30, but 
that's not the topic for today. The topic is your passion. So if you want to learn more, ayan, Mary Ann, what link is that? Ayan, nasa screen mo. Yung link na yan is to learn your passion. If you do not know what you're going to do. Because immediately after this webinar, you should know exactly what to do. I mean, alam mo yung gusto mo, alam mo yung weirdness mo, alam mo yung passion mo, alam mo yung hobbies mo. Now, for 99, 90, 80% of you, you have no idea what your passion is because we never think about it. So if you want to learn your passion, go to the series of tutorials that are free. You understand? Okay. Hi, Belle! Belle is my friend from college, so... If you don't think I exist, you go ask Belle. Because at least, kilala niya ako noon. Kilala ako ni Belle noon. So, yun yung maganda yun, yung medyo luma na na friends ko. Ay, ako yung luma, sila bago. Tanongin niyo kung totoo yung pinagsasasabi ni John Moore. <laughs> okay. okay. So, that's the end of the slides. As you can see, I am not selling anything. Because, uh, wala akong ganang mag-sell ngayon. Just here to explain to you what are the 10 things you need to have to earn online? And pag dadasal na kami, 15 minutes yun, mas matutulog na kami. I hope you spread the news about this webinar. And hulaan nyo, downloadable ba to? At saka hulaan nyo, may video ba to sa YouTube mamaya? At saka hulaan nyo, pwede nyo bang download to for free? Hulaan nyo lang naman. Tingin nyo, eh ko lang ha. <laughs> Ano tinuro ko lesson number one? <laughs> so, paulit-ulit ko sinabi niya. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot. 